Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Christina and in today's video I want to show you how I do my perfect satin sleep. At the moment I'm knitting a jacket for my son and I decided to make with a satin sleeve. One is ready. For, the, for this jacket I took the measurements from his um, jacket which is bought in the shop and uh, here is the second sleeve and it's just about to start to make the nice sleeve cap and I will show you how I do it. It is very easy. Follow up. This is super easy, super precise method for a perfect satin sleeve. I discovered it of course first from internet but actually this method is described in the Russian book about knitting which is more than 30 years old and this method is based on experience so it always turns out perfect without complicated calculations but still there are some calculations needed but they are so easy and fun to make actually here I have all sleeve is I have 54 stitches so what I do first I divide them all by two because I will make calculations only for half of the sleeve cup and uh, the other side is symmetrical so it's for easier counting I put a marker here in the middle but now Let's get started with the calculations. So first, I just did this imaginary sleeve cut. I divided the all 50, uh, 54 stitches by two. I got 27 stitches. Now, this sleeve cap, I also have to uh, divide into three segments. Uh, 27 stitches divided by three will be nine stitches each segment. So you have to split in three equal parts and the reason for that is to make this nice curve so the curve sort of consists of these three distinct parts which here is more steep decreases and binding off here is a little bit uh, taller like in more rows needed for this part and here is the the top which is also quite short and steep so for this reason we divided all the stitches by three so I got nine here nine here and nine in the first part what we do with part number nine this nine we need to divide in threes and twos no well, let's say again imaginary I divided this part into three parts uh, I know if I divide 9 by 3 it will be 3 3 3 but what I did particularly in my work I just uh, split them 4 3 and 2 so I have this smooth line developing later so uh, the part number two we also have to divide by three because if we look closer at this part here also will be a little bit different slants so uh, it will be again three 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 but actually we have to divide by uh, we have to divide into ones so three times I decrease here by one stitch three times I will have to decrease here by one stitch and three times here for example if you have 30 stitches I don't know very big size or many stitches in the work so you would divide them three uh, ten times one ten times here and 10 times here decrease by one and this nine as well 
I have to divide into threes and fours. Um, what I did here, I said, okay, let's decrease here. Like, but we will bind the four. Then here we will bind the three, and here will be two. And on the other side, it will look the same. So these bows we will bind off also together. When the last four stitches will be left on the needle, we will bind off four. So this is my distribution of the stitches. One more remark. This part here, we will decrease in every beginning of the row. It's every row. It, it will be every second row. Here, this part, we will decrease by one every fourth row, which will go, go like every second um, knit row, right side row, yeah? Right side. Every second right side. So, Practically, it will become every fourth row. And here, every second row. So let's say in every beginning of the row, here we will knit, this will be our right side, we will knit till the end of the row. And then we will start the new row. And here we will bind the four stitches. Schematics onto the paper. And uh, here, I schematically drew, uh, pointed where my decreases will be. Here are my row counts, 36 rows. No, here, right side, wrong side, right side, wrong side. And here is our distribution of the decreases. It looks very complicated. Um, if you want... To really go into deeper details and look more carefully, I will. I have a separate blog post on my website stylishknitting.com. You can go and have a look there if you have questions left. Of course, this is very quick, brief introduction into this method. It looks complicated, but actually, it's like only dividing into threes and then distributing the decreases. No calculate. Um, you don't need um, to know how much centimeters you need for the height of a sleeve cap because um, because proportionally it will match exactly the armhole. Now, following this schematics, I will finally finish a sleeve cap because I was waiting. I was waiting for days. To finish but I just really wanted to show you how I do it and you will manage it turn out perfect if you ever had a fear of knitting satin sleeve this will become easy for you so now I got the height of the sleeve and now I see I need to bind off four stitches. I will show you also how what to do if you want to get a lean and nice decrease edge. Do it like normal way. I have there here a garter stitch so every row I will knit and I decrease I bind off four stitches one two three and four and I knit until the end of the row so now I knit it to end of this part I go on to the next row I'm going to knit the next row now and I need to bind off four stitches again. I do that.
three and four. And now I'm going to knit until the end of the row again. I'll show you a little trick how to make the decreases smoother. When I knit to the last stitch, I don't knit it, I just turn my work on the other side and I continue decreases now I need to decrease uh, three stitches so a bind of three two three here is our new row and the line is really smooth now I continue to knit until the end again and where I will do the same bind off. Now I am here and I will need to decrease two stitches. I do like I did before. I don't need the last stitch. I turn my work and I just decrease these two and I just decrease two stitches. Here I have smooth line developing and the same I do in every row. This is how my sleeve cap looks after I finish decreases in this first segment. Four, three and two stitches. Now I go to this second segment, segment and as I said before, here I will need to decrease in every second row the middle part in every second knit row or it's uh, every fourth row and the last bit I decrease the same like here so let's go here I knitted almost until the end again I do the same I don't need the last stitch I turn my knitting and I decrease one stitch and then I continue knitting now now when we go to the end of the row we will be here we go on, we will start knitting and decrease one stitch in the beginning in of the beginning in the <laughs> in the beginning of the row so this is how my sleeve cap looks like after I did the first part of the se uh, second segment I did the three increases or decreases by one stitch in every beginning of the row so here are my three decreases and now I will be knitting this part and these decreases will be made in every row number four, like in every fourth row. So now I finished this last here. Now I will be knitting until end of the row. I will come here. And here I don't do any decreases here I just continue knitting and then when I come to the row number four then I will decrease one stitch 
Now I don't do anything. So I knitted three rows without any decreases and now I'm going to knit the row number four and I will have to make one decrease here. I do that and I knit until end of the row. And now I do one decrease here. And now again, I need three rows and in the row number four, I do one decrease. And like this two more times. And then I will have to make again three times in every second row, one decrease. So this maybe was the most confusing part, but actually, once you need one sleeve cap, you will get hang of it. It will be very, very easy. Here, I knitted until this place. So I decreased three stitches every row number four, like every fourth row. And here you can see one, two, three over the taller, like over the more rows. So it gives less steep line but gives you the needed height so now to finish with this part number two i will do three times decrease by one stitch and then i come back now here how it looks after i finish this part you see how it's already develops the right shape for the sleeve cut here we have steeper decreases, here we have one stitch in every second row, here we have uh, three times by one stitch in every fourth row, and here again we did one stitch decrease every second row. And now we will have to decrease four stitches, three, and then we will have last four stitches left on the needle and we will decrease that. Last four stitches left on the both needles. As remember I don't knit the last stitch before I turn to make a smooth line and I bind off later I can hide the end This is how it looks. But I want to do some calculations with you. For example, there is some formula. I didn't check it before. Does it uh, correspondent, correct, uh, with this sleeve cut method? I will do it not right now with you. I measured his chest, uh, 72 centimeters, the ready garment chest measurement so for um, armhole the formula is divide the chest uh, the bust circumreference divide by six and plus five centimeters which makes 12 plus 5 is 17 centimeters okay remember this number and the sleeve cap I have terrible handwriting and for this we also the bust size we divide by 8 and plus three which is nine plus three makes 12 centimeters tall this part should be from where we started decreases 
until here should be 12 centimeters and here we go look I didn't use this formula I didn't know how tall the sleeve cap should be but it is about the 12 centimeters which is correct looking for the calculation so this method is really really great and let's look at our sleeve armhole not sleeve cap armhole so here I have his half ready garment let's just measure it is it 17 centimeters yeah yes it is 17 centimeters now we know for sure that our sleeve will fit into the armhole and this is what I did because I I managed even so in this is how it looks and it fitted in perfectly now I will show you how to do it on the other side as well thanks for watching please press like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will see you next time bye